guys, so I'm back with two new t two 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 new tutorials. Um, I did a hair tutorial today, and please bear with me. It was my first hair tutorial. I do not how to set up certain things, and I was just winging it. So please bear with me. But this is the hair tutorial. It's just a half up, half down do. Um, it was requested on my Instagram, so I did that, and I did the look that I did with it. This is a halo eye, uh, purple smoky halo eye with a little gold in the middle. So I did that, and I paired it with a peachy nude lip. The battery is flashing right now, of course. So yes, this is the hair that I did with it. You know, you could spruce it up a little bit, bring it wherever you want to bring it. I got this style today with my Bellamy hair in Bellissimas. These are my 22 inch set in Mochocino Brown. Mochocino. In Mochocino Brown. So yeah, I do have a discount code for that. You could just type in Gianna at BellamyHair.com when you're done with your order and you will get a discount. So yeah, I just, you know, winged it. I really just did. I just was like, okay, we're doing this. Here we go. So, I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and thumbs up this video, it helps us, it helps us, it does help us, it helps us all, it helps a lot. I don't think I have anything else to say, I was gonna do a two separate videos, because I did do a little contouring in this video, so you're gonna see that, so you're gonna see eyes, contour, it's like a full thing, it's a full let's talk, it's just like full Gianna, here I am, talking to you. Let's do this together. I just really hope that you guys, like, excuse. I might bet it's just really messy. Uh, I just really hope that you guys excuse my entire, like, hair tutorial. Like, we did it. Like, I, it, it, it ended up, like, okay. But it took. It took a little bit. You know, it's. It was a little. It was a little wacky. <laughs> it was just a little wacky. So that's me though, I'm just a nut, so whatever. So I think that's all I have to say before my battery completely dies. I just wanna say that I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video and I hope you enjoy this and please forgive me if I'm a whack job because I am and that's all I have to say. So let's get started. I'm priming my lids with Max 24 hour prep and prime base. What it says, it does, like it actually really lasts a while. First shadow I'm gonna be using is Urban Decay's Foxy. I always use this one. I am don't know why, but I I buy the whole palette. The whole, I, this is the second palette that I bought, the Naked Basics palette. I don't know why I do that. Um, focus. Okay. I don't know why I do that. I should probably just get the single shadow since they sell it. I used to use um, Faint for my brows, maybe that's why, but uh, I haven't used it in a while, so I should probably just buy the single shadow. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm gonna be taking the Sephora brush, it's just a big fluffy brush, I always use it for my brow bone, and I'm just gonna be placing that on there. So next I'm going to be taking Soft Brown, here. What are you talking about? I'm gonna be taking soft brown and with a Morphe M511. I just bought these brushes. I'm obsessed with them. Uh, I also bought, because I went to the IBS show in New York. And oh, I'm putting this in my crease, by the way. <laughs> so I bought that. Yeah, I bought a bunch of brushes. And I also bought Jaclyn Hill's favorites palette, which I'm really excited to use because the colors are beautiful and really pigmented. Wow, like I tested them at the booth and I was like, whoa, this is insane. So I'm just gonna put this in my crease. Don't worry if the shadow gets here because we're gonna darken this anyway. There's not gonna be a brightness or any kind of sparkle there. We're just gonna create this kind of halo. We're gonna create this kind of halo that, pff, that's why it's called halo. So we're gonna just create this around the eye. So don't worry if you get shadow there. Just blend as much as you can. I'm gonna be grabbing my my 217 brush by MAC and Saddle from MAC, which is a really warm brown color. And I'm gonna be putting that in the 
crease as well, making that same kind of half O. I don't know how to call it. I guess crescent. Same kind of crescent windshield wiper motion. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. This is really all about blending. Just blending back and forth, back and forth. It's a blending day. Huh. And after that, I'm going to grab another, I can grab the same 217, and I'm going to grab brown script and make that color a little deeper with the same 217. Same motions again. We really wanna make this really um, smoky and warm. That's why we keep going back with warm browns. I'm going to take Sketch, which is uh, my favorite purple from MAC. It's like, it has a little shimmer in it, if you can see, if you can see. Yeah, it has a little bit of shimmer, but it's kind of matte uh, when you blend it out. So I'm going to use the same 217, I'm just going to do the same motions, kind of staying outside. Bringing a little bit into the crease but kind of smoking it out a little more, focusing on the outer corners. And then you're gonna bring it in as well. You can bring it up a little bit. So now I'm going to take this Grafton pigment. I don't know if you've ever heard of Grafton. Oh, you can't even see it. Yeah, it's like a gold pigment. You can use melon you can, from MAC. You can use any kind of gold if you want to use a glitter. It's not really a glitter, it's more of a pigment. So any kind of pigment you want to use or any kind of sparkly shadow, you could totally use that. Um, Grafton is only sold at trade shows. I got this at IBS. Um, I think you have to like sign up to try to, try to get their um, cosmetics on their website. I'm going to be spraying a little Fix Plus on my 239. Eh, eh. Okay. This pigment is actually the most, one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my life. Anything that's gold and shimmery, I just have to grab. It's, I don't know why, just like a reflex. So I'm just going to pat this on that center of the lid. So gorgeous. So wait until the pigment completely dries on your eye before you try to blend it out. So now I'm gonna take one of my recently favorites. It's a brush by Brush Love. It's the 22 Blending Crease Brush. This brush is the perfect size. It fits right in that crease and it fits like perfectly in that outer corner to smoke that eye out. It's my favorite brush right now. Um, this is from Brush Love, like I said, and I have a discount code right now for that site. It's Gianna20, so you get 20% off site wide. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to take Sketch, and I'm just going to build him in the corners of the eye. Kind of making it a little more pigmented there. I feel like it's dry now. So I'm going to grab the same 220, 220, the same 217 brush that we were using. I'm gonna go back into brown script and I'm going to start to blend it out. Going around the sparkly. Just softly, cause you don't wanna like completely like take away the glitter. You kinda just wanna go around it so it blends because sometimes if you blend too hard the, the glitter will just be like see ya and you're gonna have to do that step again so kind of just softly blend it so I'm gonna be using my favorite liner it is focus it is the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper this is my lifesaver keeping it thin on my lid, I'm gonna do a wing.
So next I'm going to be coating my lashes with one of my favorite mascaras right now. It's Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I'm now going to be applying my favorite lashes from MAC. These are the 48s. You can see. Okay, so now I'm going to start my face while I let the lash glue dry and then I'm going to finish everything up with the eyes later. So I'm going to be using for my primer Hangover RX from Too Faced. Yes, there you go. So this is my favorite primer right now. I'm just gonna squirt some in my hands and massage it into my face. I'm going to be using my favorite foundation. This is a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in 5.75. I'm just gonna pump that all over. And I'm going to be using my optical blurring blush. <coughs> Blur Why? I'm going to be using my optical blurring brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. Now I'm gonna start my contour and I'm going to be using my favorite concealer right now. This is the Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It is so brightening. It's kind of like a mix between the NARS Radiant Concealer the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Pro Longwear Concealer. So if you're a fan of either of those, I totally recommend this. It's got the most lovely coverage and it's just, oh, I just love it. It's so brightening, it's just perfect. Perfect! I wanna buy like all the bottles in the store because I'm so obsessed with it. So I'm just gonna dot this or like drag it in a triangle, in a triangle. Drag it down my nose, drag it on my chin. That's happening and then I'm going to just kind of use my I'm gonna use my makeup forever camouflage palette this is number five yeah no I'm sorry this is number four and so I'm just going to take the darkest color here and I'm going to contour my face a little bit so I'm gonna do a little bit there a little bit here I'm not going too crazy a little bit here a little bit here. I think I'm going to just do a complete contour video. If you guys really want to see a full contouring video, I think that I'll do that next time. Sound good? And I'm going to blend this out with my beauty blender and then I'll be contouring my nose. to set my concealer, my under, I'm going to use the CC powder. This is in Neutralize from MAC. I'm just going to use a, another flat brush from um, Coastal Scents and I'm just going to pat a little bit under there just to set everything. So after that I'm going to be just setting my entire face with the NARS All Day Luminous Powder. This is in Medium to Santa Fe. I'm taking an old kabuki from Too Faced and just setting my face. So now I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to skip over that part because you've seen that way too many times. So I'll be right back. So I'm going to be taking Sketch again and a flat smudger brush. This is an old one from Sephora. And I'm going to be taking this underneath. through that lash line. Just add some mascara to that lower lash. Okay, so now with the eyes done, I'm going to be grabbing Too Faced Bronzer in Chocolate Soleil. 
and I'm using a angled brush from Sephora, it's an old one. I'm just going to be bronzing up my face and bringing in the contour a little more. So the blush I'm going to be using today is Max Modern Mandarin. It's one of my favorite blushes ever. I was say brushes. It's one of my favorite blushes ever. I'm just using a Sephora um, brush for this. So now I'm going to do my highlight and I'm going to be using Becca's Opal. This is my favorite all-time highlighter better than anything I've used. And I'm just going to take this fan brush. This is a fan brush from Coastal Sense. And I'm just going to be using that on the top of my cheeks, down my nose, on my lips and chin, and a little on my forehead. Oh, I love that highlight. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so now for my lips, I'm going to be taking Boldly Bare Liner by MAC and Mick Lipstick. So what I'm doing right now is just lining the entire lip. I'm going to be filling it in as well. So I do this because Myth is a little too light for me, so I like to mix it in with a darker liner. So rub that in, and now it's like really, woo! So I'm going to be going in with the liner again, just to kind of blend everything together. To set my face, I'm going to be using Fix Plus Spray by MAC. Hey guys, so welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> so fancy. I had to like make lighting happen here. I literally have my lamp just staring at me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to section off my hair where I want the pony to be. I'm going to not make it too high, something like that, let me see, okay, okay, and we're going to section that off, you could just tie it, that's fine, make a little bun, okay, cool, so that looks hot. We're gonna do that. We're gonna keep it like that. And I'm going to be using my Bellamy hair extensions. I'm gonna be using um, two twos and one three. Right above my ears. I'm gonna grab a clip and just clip up my hair. Oh, I'm gonna be using the two clip first. I'm just going to clip that in the back. I'm going to be Clipping my next two in. This is a two clip as well. Put those guys in. And then you have long hair. Oh. So I'm gonna be adding, ooh, blinded by the light. I'm gonna be adding a three clip, just brushing them through. I'm gonna clip those as well. We're gonna go in and bring that hair down that we clipped up. Now, this is the somewhat difficult part so <laughs> I'm going to be taking this mess out Blech. so now that you take the took this down you just want to make sure that you keep this in front okay and you're gonna take the rest of the hair that you just put the clips in and everything the one that you the part that you want down I know this is running of course so you're gonna want to keep this long part away from this part yeah this is nice so I'm going to tie this back. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a section of hair here. A little bit. This is where you're going to put the single clips. Okay. Just going to clip this guy up for a second after I sectioned him. Cool. So sexy. And I'm going to bring in my one clip guys. So we're going to put this guy here like this right on top. 
Okay, and we're just gonna clip him in. So when you put the pony in, so when you put the pony in, you have everything up and not tangled. Everything's just like going the same way. All the hair is going the same way. I'm gonna clip the others in and I'll be right back. So now that they're all clipped in, I'm going to grab the whole section, clip it all over. Okay. And now you're gonna have a nice pony. Now I'm gonna just take the section and brush it forward. Comb it all up so everything's even. I'm going to take a rubber bond. Doesn't matter, any color of your choice. I'm just going to clip him up there. Clip him. I'm going to tie him up there. Like that. And you can bring it as much forward as you want. Or not. Whatever you want to do. And I'm going to bring the hair down, and you're basically done, okay? So if you wanted to leave, oh, it's so cute. So if you wanted to leave it like this, you totally could, okay? I just hope you guys can see what it well. So if you wanted to leave it like this, you totally could. If you wanted to wrap around a hair, you could as well, which I will be doing now. So I'm just going to take the hair from the back of the pony and just wrap it. I'm gonna grab a bobby pin. I'm gonna clip this back. Pretty faces today. I'm just gonna bring him forward. And there you go. There's your little hairdo. Okay? So here is the hairdo that I did. What do you guys think? Do you guys like hair tutorials? Am I not a complete train wreck? Let me know, please. But this is super cute. I actually like to really do this hair when my hair is dirty, but when my hair is really clean, it looks really nice. I should probably do it when my hair is clean. Alright guys, so I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials, and I have nothing else to say, but I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! First hair tutorial, please. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's a little pony guy. No pony guy. You have a discount code. A discount code. A discount code. Gonna, gonna. I'm gonna. I look like a freak. A leak.